Okay guys, we're almost at the end. So this is the last part guys, my frequently asked questions. So the first question is, how old are you Priscilla? You look somewhere between the ages of 16 and 20 something. I'll tell you my birthday, the year I was born, and so if you're watching this now, or watching this five years from now, then you won't be totally confused by how old I am. So my birthday is on June 30th, and the year I was born is 1986, so let the calculations begin. That's right. Next question is, where do you live? On my channel, you guys know I'm from Canada. I was born in Canada. One person actually did say, you seem like you're from either Saskatchewan or Manitoba. I don't know, your deduction skills are amazing, but that's all I'll say about that. Next question is, what do you do for a living? I am a graphic designer, and what does that entail? What does a graphic designer do? I create promotional materials, I create ads, I design logos, I illustrate, I do some digital multimedia work, I design websites, and things like that. And how do you like being a graphic designer? I love it. I love being a graphic designer. Next question is, are your classes real? Are they for fashion? Are they for function? And where did you get them? Yes, they are real. They have prescription lenses in them. I bought these frames at a boutique and I wondered if I could get my prescription lenses put in and apparently you can. So they're used both for fashion and function. I don't see why you can't combine the two. Would you consider getting a different style of frame? I don't think so. I think you guys like it. Some people don't, which is fine, but uh, I really like them. And they're the kind of the first pair that actually stays on my face. I had troubles with frames kind of wobbling on my face or like falling off my face. Next question is, what do you use to record your videos? I use a Canon 6D 18 to 135 millimeter lens. I love it. It's amazing and beautiful. The next question is, what editing software do you use? I use iMovie. I think it's so easy. So we're getting into the book questions now. When and what got you into reading? And I got into reading when I was really young. I love illustrated books. I love picture books. I was a very visual person back then. Even now, I'm a very visual person. But there wasn't any specific book that really made me love reading. It's who? Of course, my idol, LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow. I love him. He was definitely an inspiration for me to love reading, love learning in general. Next question is, how do you choose the books you read and so it changes all the time really depends on what I feel like reading at that time usually there's a certain holiday in a certain month that kind of makes it easier for me to decide a theme it also depends on what people are reading now what people are enjoying and so sometimes that really influences me on what I will read next next question is do you buy all of your books where do you get them for the most part I buy all of my books I buy them either at chapters or McNally booksellers I love going to the bookstore I love buying books Books. I would say I'm in that small group of book bloggers slash vloggers who do not accept books for review, who do not contact publishers for ARCs. I'm one of those people who want to read whatever they want to read whenever they want to read it. Eliminating the ARCs and accepting books for review kind of gives me that flexibility to do so. Next question is how fast do you read? How many pages do you read a day? I would say I average between 40 to 50 pages an hour and I try to read at least 100 pages a day. And the next Next question is, how do you read so many books in a month? Just pretty much making time to read every day. I kind of finish a book by 3-4 day mark and so I'm able to finish at least one book if I read consistently a week. So that's how I'm able to read and do a review every week. Next question is, what is your top favorite book slash series? I would say the Chaos Walking series. I still have to finish the series but I would definitely say that is on my top five. The Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. I highly enjoyed it. Consistently awesome throughout the whole series. I really enjoyed those books. Of course, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Really enjoyed it. Very tempted to reread it. Looking for Alaska by John Green. And Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Love those. Next question is, what's your favorite book? So like Charlie, whatever book I've read last. Not really. That doesn't really happen. It changes constantly. The last five-star book I read, which I believe was Lola and the Boy Next Door. Love, love that. Current favorite book, I would say. Next question is, which is your favorite series? I would have to say Uglies. It was the first series I kind of fell in love with YA. Next question is, who's your favorite author? And I would say John Green. I love John Green. It's a combination of his work and the videos he's posted on his channel. You know, he just seems like a really cool person. Very cool guy. Next question is, what's your favorite genre? And this is very broad, adventure. I love adventure books, middle grade adventure. Next question is, what are your thoughts on e-readers? Have you ever considered buying an e-reader? E-books or real books? 
And so e-readers, here we go. Yeah, I don't mind e-readers. I totally would get one. I don't have anything against e-readers. I think I would buy a physical book over an e-book because I still have my library to build up. I think the only time I would buy an e-book is if the print version is not available for me to buy right away because when I want to read a book right away, right then and there, and if it's out of print, then I would turn to buying the ebook version. Yeah, I think ebooks are totally cool. Just another format to enjoy a book, you know? It's the same story, whether it's in ebook format or hard copies. People have asked me, Kindle, Nook, we have Kobo here in Canada the iPad. I wouldn't choose an iPad because you could do other stuff on it. But yes, I am not opposed to e-readers. I think e-readers are totally cool. My next question is, do you write? Are you a writer, Priscilla? What's what's going on with that? No, I don't write. I've outlined a couple of storyline ideas, but actually like writing an actual book, I don't think I would be really great at. But who knows? That's everything, guys. That's my frequently asked questions. This is the question and answers video Blah. It was pretty crazy long. I'm sorry you guys watched all of that. I'm sure that was, you know, TMI for you. Hopefully, you know, you got to know me a little bit better. And so we're, we're that much closer, guys, I would say. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stab. in a movie you know 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 so 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 awesome 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 amazing 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 that's me